Hey, this is Jeff Komar with Avid Pro Audio. In this module, I'd like to take a look at some of the new file and export options in Pro Tools 10. Now, I have a music session that we're working on currently, and uh, we'll play a little bit of this here to start. <laughs> So all of the source tracks in this session are ultimately feeding a print track, which is right here. And uh, we're actually listening through that print track. So that track is in it currently in the input. If I take the input off, I can play back the last mix. <laughs> Okay, not only that, but I've actually got multiple mixes, uh, versions, underneath on playlists. So I basically dated each of these based on when they were mixed, and I can flip between versions on the fly. So I want to export this mix, but before I export it, I actually want to change the format. So if we take a look at the session setup window, you can see that the current session is 44K, 24-bit and AIFF files. Now in Pro Tools 10, you have the ability to mix and match bit depth, audio file format, as well as interleave files. So I can on the fly change the bit depth, I can change the audio file format, for example, to WAVE, and I can also enable interleaved. So I've changed those. Now I'm gonna actually go down to that uh, existing mix. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna go to the edit window and just do a simple consolidate clip. And it just made a new file, which is a WAV file, an interleave WAV file at 24 bits, okay? So let's take a look at that. Let's actually export that particular file. If I click on the clip on the timeline, you can see it highlights in the bin. And I can right click at that point, and I can say, reveal in Finder. And now what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna show me the source audio file. So take a look. All the session files are AIFFs, and in this case, the new mix that I created is a WAV file. So I'm actually going to option drag that into my mixes folder so that I can file that. Let's go back to Pro Tools. Now you can see above the mix track, I have multiple stem tracks. I've stem mixed the drums, the bass, the strings, the flutes, the guitars. I need to prepare stems as well as the mix to give to another artist that I'm collaborating with. So now we have the option to basically do an export selected. And this is a great feature. Uh, instead of having to take this session and delete uh, tracks and then do a save as, I can literally just pick the elements in the session that I want, in this case, the stems and also the current working mix. Then I can go up to the file menu and I can say export selected tracks as new session. Now in this dialog, I'm going to pick current session format, I want it to end up as WAV files, okay? 44K is great. I'm gonna choose interleaved, because again, I want them to be able to work with interleaved um, audio files. I mentioned I have multiple mixes of this, so I actually want them only to have the current mix. So I'm gonna say main playlist only, copy all the audio files, convert them to WAV, because as I just mentioned, they're all AIFF, and then again, selected tracks only. So now if I hit OK, it's going to create a new session for me. And we'll just call this Title Stems. OK, so let's open that up and actually take a look at that session. I'm going to go to Open, and we're going to go to uh, Title Stems and open that up. So now that I got the session open, you can see that Pro Tools has created a new session only containing the pieces that I need. In this case, all of the stems as well as the current working mix, first playlist only, in 24-bit, 44K WAV format. And it only took me a couple seconds to export this. It's a major time saver. It's a great feature, especially when you're collaborating with other artists.